The aims of Junior Achievement are twofold really. Firstly, to teach young people about enterprise and secondly, we target those at risk of early school leaving. When we started off in 1996, we just had 500 young people in programmes and in this school year we've more than 60,000. So we've really, really grown each year. What they do is they look for volunteer businesses to become involved with them to actually deliver the programmes so that uh, school children can actually make the link between, say, education and a career. That's got a lot of practical science lessons, but not just the lessons that I would do with them in class to get someone who's actually working in industry to come in and show them fun and interesting things about science. So what you should see, lads, is the reflection of everything that's on the page, but exactly the first line is what I'm looking at. Reflection of life. That's the word we're looking at from the book. If you can see them doing it and getting the end product of what they build and seeing the actual way it works, they have the theory, they put it into practice, and it's perfect for them. The interest in science has gone, by, has gone through the roof in the last few weeks. So they see the fun and interest in things that they can actually do as scientists. It opens their eyes, I think, to, to exactly what goes on inside an industry. The Economics of Staying in School is a programme particularly designed to persuade young people to stay on in school. I mean, it is really frightening to think that almost 20% of Irish children don't sit their leaving cert. The programme we're teaching today is about getting people to stay at school. So what we're doing is we're talking through, if you leave school, first of all, without any education, what your career potential is. So it's working in your corner shop, it's, it's working and getting limited money, so it's your minimum wage. Then what it does is it looks at, okay, if one of the guys throws a dice and he progresses to the next level, he goes to college, he's coming out with a greater certification and his earning potential is greater. The kids themselves, I think, deep down they realise that education is important to them. But of course, education demands effort and it requires application. And some of these boys, it doesn't come that easily to them, but this is an opportunity to give them that focus. So I think, you know, it's badly needed and the opportunity is really appreciated by the school. that I'm delivering is called Success Skills and it measures success at an appropriate level for every member of the, the class. Some, some of these students will want to go on to third level education, some of them will want to go straight out into the workplace and what this does is help them to achieve success in that field. If you and I were having a conversation, what percentage of our conversation do you think would be verbal and what percentage would be non-verbal? Give me a guess. We'll teach them how to put together a CV, we'll teach them how to get through an interview, and we'll teach them how to be a little bit more positive about the outlook for their lives. Our school would be a very disadvantaged school and um, the children wouldn't have a lot of opportunities to get involved in something like this. It's a special ladder. It goes up very, very high. We use it at very, very big fires. And we talk to them about how a 999 call is made and basically ask them the questions of what they would do in an emergency. And then we take them out, out here, out in the air and have a bit of fun and then show them some of the training that we do as well. We keep hearing about the day at the fire station, turning on the fire hose and seeing the engines and everything. And they enjoyed it immensely. Well, anyone can be a saint. Junior achievement. 
provide training from start to finish. Before you come into the classroom for the very first time, they come out, sit down, go through the program week by week, what you have to do, they provide a full pack for you. Really, you need to do nothing other than turn up and deliver the materials that you've been provided with. Well, anyone can be a star. Just get in your car We can go and be a star You always have the support of the teacher there so the teacher kind of more or less looks after the kind of the discipline and getting people's attention and you can focus then on the actual material that you're teaching. If there is any support that you require you get contacted to say how did the class go, do you need more support, are you getting support from the school, the teachers, the pupils? Should be. GCAS has been involved now over about four years with Junior Achievement. Talking to the people who've done it, they've, they've all found it very enriching and rewarding. Many of them hadn't done public speaking in any sort of formal sense, so I think the experience they got from that uh, certainly help them in their, in their presentation skills. You can liken it to any sort of teamwork environment, especially in trying to work with children. It, it presents very different challenges, so it, in some respects they really do learn, and coming back to, to, to manage a group of adults, it, it's, uh, it does bring some, some good lessons home. It's a little bit different to the usual rat race of 9 to 5 and you take some time out to, to give a little bit back to, to your own community. The youth is really the, the hope and the future of every country so to the degree that we're all responsible corporately and can take care and show interest in the youth we can all make sure that the future is going to be better for the corporate environment.